living in Atlanta, Georgia is kind of different than some of the other major cities of the U.S. There are a lot of similarities to some of the other major cities, but there are a lot of things about living in Atlanta that are unique to this area. So let's talk about what it's like to live in Atlanta, Georgia. The first thing that you should know is that Atlanta is a major city of the U.S. I know a lot of people from other parts of the country kind of think of Atlanta as being like country or like rural. That's not really the case anymore. It may have been like that decades ago, but Atlanta now has a population of 500,000 people. And when you look at all of the metro Atlanta area, it's a population of 5 million people. So Atlanta is far from being country or rural. Atlanta is the kind of city where you find high-rise buildings and densely populated areas. And so this is what kind of marks the city of Atlanta. It's going to be like living in any other major city of the U.S. But one thing that is super unique to Atlanta is how many trees and how much green space we have here. Very often, Atlanta is described as a city in the woods, and that's because that's exactly what it is. If you look at the areas around Atlanta, it's nothing but like forest or wooded areas. And so Atlanta was built in this wooded area and a lot of these trees and a lot of this green space remains. There are lots of parks all around the city and one of the reasons for that is just because how easy it is to have these green space areas and these park areas because of how many trees and green space are natural to the city of Atlanta. No matter how many times I describe the amount of green space that we have here in Atlanta, people from other parts of the U.S. are still surprised to see how many trees we have here. And I think it's also because of the height of the pine trees. The pine tree is like the most common kind of tree that we have here. And they're so tall and they're so like overwhelming. So when you come here and you're just kind of swallowed up by the sight of these super tall pine trees, it can kind of be surprising. So that's certainly something that a lot of people here have gotten used to living with. There are good and bad things to the pine trees. So let's talk about some of those things as well. Before we talk about that, let's talk about another common misconception that I hear many people say when they think of Atlanta, especially here in the U.S., we kind of think of Atlanta or Georgia as being like one culture or one race. And this is not really the case anymore. Atlanta is very much an international city with lots of different cultures represented all throughout the city and all throughout the metro area as well. There are lots of different factors for why this is, a few factors that I can think of are the World Olympics that happened in 1996, making Atlanta well known to the world. Also, uh, the airport is the busiest airport in the world, so a lot of people kind of fly through here and at least check it out and kind of get exposed to the city of Atlanta and what it's like. I think this has added to the amount of cultural diversity that we have here in Atlanta. And then also the economy in general is growing very quickly here. So this all means that different people from all over the country and all over the world are regularly moving to Atlanta, Georgia. This also means that the political views for the people of Atlanta are very mixed. Again, it used to be decades ago that it was kind of one-sided in the South and one-sided in Atlanta when it comes to political views. But today, the city of Atlanta especially is very like 50-50. It's very politically mixed right and left. And so this is not a city where you're going to find an overall dominant side politically. You're going to find people of all different kinds of cultures, all different kinds of ages and uh, racial diversity and political diversity as well. One thing that Atlanta has done a great job of is keeping this kind of like Southern hospitality that we used to have a long time ago. We still have for the most part, <laughs> this kind of like super friendly, neighborly Southern hospitality in many places in Atlanta. It's not a big city like New York or LA where people are kind of 
cold to each other and kind of like worried about what other people think and do, Atlanta is much more warm and much more friendly. And that kind of neighborly community is very easy to find here in Atlanta compared to other major cities. So we have a growing economy and a very healthy mix of political views and cultural diversity and add to that the amount of community that you can find here. And it really makes Atlanta a special, unique place that is something that you really can't find in other parts of the country. Now, there certainly are some downsides to living here. Of course, no major city of the U.S. is not going to have some kind of negative things. So let's talk about one of the things that is kind of uh, a problem, and it seems to be a growing problem even here in Atlanta, and that's the amount of crime that you can find here and the amount of crime that is often reported in the news when it comes to Atlanta. So many people will often ask me, like, is the crime something that we need to be worried about if we're moving to Atlanta? And I would be lying to you if I said that it's not something that you have to be worried about. There are certainly some parts of Atlanta that have worse crime than others, and this is probably the case in many of the major cities of the world. So it's not something that you need to have like in the forefront of your mind as you are traveling through Atlanta, but it's something that you should keep maybe in the back of your mind. You want to be careful and have your guard up in certain parts of Atlanta, but it's not everywhere, especially in the areas that have uh, more densely populated areas where there are more crowds you're not gonna have problems with crime just walking down the street in Atlanta. And then another downside to living in Atlanta is the traffic problem. This is definitely an issue and it's just getting worse every year. Uh, and one of the reasons for this is because of the poor infrastructure that we have in Atlanta. Power lines and internet and all kinds of things infrastructure related are kind of behind the times when it comes to living in Atlanta. And one of those things is the roads. Some of the most traffic congested areas are the interstate systems through Atlanta. So Interstate 75, 85, 285 and Interstate 20. This is where you're going to find people who are traveling from the suburbs to the city for work in the mornings and then vice versa in the evenings back out to the suburb. So there's a lot of traffic congestion on these interstates during rush hour and during not rush hour times and during evenings and weekends and pretty much all the time. Actually, there's just traffic 24 seven on the interstates in Atlanta, but even some of the back roads of Atlanta, even some of the roads that are not interstates are going to be highly congested all of the time. So going just a few miles in Atlanta could take 30 minutes, 45 minutes. So if you're thinking about moving to Atlanta, that's certainly something that you want to think about. Okay, now let's talk about what it's like owning a home in Atlanta. If you're thinking about moving to Atlanta or you just have any questions about what it's like to live here, feel free to call, text, or email me anytime. Thank you so much to everybody who has reached out. I'm the one who answers the phone. I'm the one who answers those emails. I would love to hear from you if you're thinking about moving to Atlanta. But owning a home in Atlanta is probably a little different than some of the other major cities of the U.S. We do have a lot of older homes here in Atlanta, and that's probably not unique to other states. But one of the things that maybe is unique is the lower cost of living and the lower cost of the homes here in Atlanta. I think many people kind of correlate Atlanta to lower cost of living, and this is the case. But one of the issues that comes from that is that it's not as common here in Atlanta for people to do home renovations as it is in other parts of the country. In many parts of the country, when you put $20,000 or $30,000 into new flooring or a new kitchen or new bathrooms in your home, you tend to recuperate that investment in the home equity or the value of the home. Here in Atlanta, it's not as easy because home values are so much lower. For example, if you buy a home for $500,000 and the majority of the homes in the neighborhood are worth $500,000, you can't put a $25,000 investment into remodeling the home and expect to recuperate that money when all of the homes in the neighborhood are worth $500,000. It's kind of hard to 
get all of that investment back. Certainly a big part of that is how much you pay for the home and the value of the other homes in the neighborhood, but this is generally kind of a problem here in Atlanta. Not a lot of people do renovations to their home as they do in other parts of the country. Also, we have a lot of deferred maintenance in many of the homes here in Atlanta, and all of this has to do with the lower cost of the homes, the lower value of the homes here. However, with that being said, it is certainly possible to find a three bedroom, two bath home in Atlanta for about 600,000. When it comes to other major cities of the US, finding a home around six or $700,000 is not very common. This isn't to say that all of the homes in Atlanta are falling apart. It's just kind of something that you need to watch out for with some of the homes. But most of the homes are well taken care of. They don't necessarily have that deferred maintenance. And being able to find a home at a much lower price in an area with a growing economy and plenty of job opportunities is certainly a plus for many people. Something else that you should know about when living in Atlanta is that while it is a major city of the US, we're only about two hours from the North Georgia mountains, which is a very big difference in the way that these two areas feel. Atlanta obviously has that urban vibe, but the North Georgia mountains have this rural, super peaceful kind of setting that is very different from the big city. Many people who live in Atlanta will often go to the North Georgia mountains for vacations, especially because it's a short drive away. And then to the beach in Savannah, or I should say the coast in Savannah, it's about a maybe three or four hour drive, maybe five hours to get to the coast in Savannah. There's not really much of a beach, however, in Savannah. It's more like a rugged coastline, so I wouldn't recommend going to the beach, but the town of Savannah is certainly something that you would wanna check out, visit. It's a great place to hang out. When it comes to finding a beach closest to Atlanta, the Gulf Coast is where most of the people who live in Atlanta go to for vacationing on a beach. And then the weather here in Atlanta is pretty mild compared to other places of the world. In the summertime, the average high temperature is somewhere between 90 to 95 degrees. It is very humid. We do have a lot of humidity here, which can catch a lot of people off guard. Um, but the average cold temperature here in Atlanta in the wintertime is probably about... 30 to 40 degrees in general. There certainly are some days that are colder than 30 degrees in the wintertime, and there are some days that are warmer than 40 degrees in the wintertime. But in general, it's right around there during the months of December and January. Also, you should know when it comes to those pine trees that they put off a lot of pollen. Actually, a lot of different plants put off pollen, and because of how many trees and how much vegetation we have here in Atlanta, it's very common to find lots of different allergens like pollen. So people with seasonal allergies who live in Atlanta kind of uh, tend to struggle with this throughout the seasonal allergy season of the year. For example, I have seasonal allergies and I just take some kind of uh, seasonal allergy medicine to kind of help alleviate these problems, but it's certainly something that a lot of people have to deal with here in Atlanta. Okay, so this might surprise you, but I actually don't recommend moving to Atlanta anytime soon. There are a lot of reasons why you might not wanna move to Atlanta anytime soon. If you wanna know what those reasons are and why you shouldn't move to Atlanta, check out this video. I'll see you there.